Hello Virgo, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star, and welcome to your reading. So Virgo, this is your reading for the month of April, for the last 15 days of April. This is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Virgo, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment on below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the video. There is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in description box and comment section. In the extended reading, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. Coming back to this reading on YouTube, I will shuffle the cards, I'll lay them down, and then we'll see, Virgo, what is your energy, what is the energy of the person you're thinking about, you're dealing with, you will be dealing with. And I'll also pull out some romantic cards we'll also see some romantic messages for you guys okay so one card has already flipped out and we have eight of wands ten of swords ace of swords and then we have nine of pentacles ace of cups for your person ace of wands wow we have three aces okay and five of swords interesting i'm pulling out Romantic messages. What are the romantic messages for you for the next 15 days? Virgo, what are the romantic messages for you for the next 15 days? What are the romantic messages for you for the next 15 days? All right. So Virgo, you might be seeing a lot of 11 11 triple one you might be seeing a lot of 999 9, 9. you might be seeing a lot of 555 5, 5, 888 8. so this is your spread okay so Virgo what is your energy for the last 15 days of April we have seven of wands then we have uh, 10 of swords and then we have ace of swords and then we have nine of pentacles okay Virgo I feel that your competitive spirits are very high you're like literally uh, you're not just eliminating uh, unnecessary energies around you but I also feel like you're literally killing the competition and I also feel like there is a uh, a go-getter kind of attitude in you, okay? It's like you're chasing something and you will not like when someone is trying to create a hurdle or obstacle in whatever you're trying to chase. With Seven of Wands, with Ten of Swords, I clearly feel like, first of all, you will let people know what the boundaries are and if they are disrespecting the boundaries, I feel like, you are going to show your aggressive side to them okay and something that people have not witnessed not witnessed in the past that might pop out they might become witness to something a different version of yours an aggressive version of yours because you're not liking that some people or negative energies are unnecessarily trying to stop you from what you want to achieve okay uh, you're also not liking the fact that you people are not respecting uh, your boundaries people are not respecting whatever you're saying people are not being allowed to I mean uh, it, it's it's like an insult okay so I feel like people might see an, an angrier version of you in next couple of days okay uh, for my for the reasons that I have stated like you might feel disrespectful and secondly you you might also not like the fact that someone is trying to create an obstacle in what you're trying to achieve uh, also this go-getter energy uh, will kind of you will notice that you are easily eliminating the competition people who are trying to compete with you they are easily getting eliminated because you have the strong energy the strong push within you okay it's like you won't stop till what you want to achieve so that's the kind of energy i'm getting over here you are not going to stop okay come what may you are not going to stop yourself ace of swords is also like
you will start having a lot of clarity regarding your uh, regarding your future Virgo in next couple of days especially if you're feeling some kind of ambiguity or if you're feeling uh, hopeless or if you're feeling like I don't know what future holds for me or I don't know what I'm supposed to do I don't know which path I should be walking down so with ace of swords I kind of feel that you will start having a lot of clarity regarding your future what you want to do uh, with what kind of people you want in want in your life where you want to go what kind of career you want to have even if you're running even if you're having any kind of existing career you'll start contemplating uh, with uh, you know do I really need to change or should I change my career should I really change my career should I think about any other career should I change my place should I change anything about myself I see you doing a lot of self introspection and uh, I also see you trying to make certain changes within yourself keeping your future goals in at the back of your mind okay so first thing you will have a lot of clarity regarding your future second you will start you will do some self introspection and based on your observations you will also start uh, you know making certain changes within yourself i see you will become more disciplined okay you are going to become more and more disciplined in your life okay it's it's not something small that you are chasing over here you are trying to chase something big with nine of pentacles okay you have this vision of nine of pentacles nine of pentacles is is uh, is a mega abundance okay abundance that you have created something on your own abundance that you have created possibly without the help of anyone else okay abundance that you are creating which will help you in a long term future abundance that you abundance that will absolutely uh, reduce or eliminate your codependency on anyone else or anything else okay so I don't know what you are doing but I feel like you're trying to chase something big okay and you want like minded people during this journey you have a clear, clear vision about your future doesn't matter whether you are a man or a man or a woman but I definitely see that you have bigger goals and you want people whether it is friends whether it is romantic partnership whether it is uh, the kind of people that you want to work with work colleagues you want like minded people along with you okay you don't want to work with people who are not in uh, energetic alignment or who do not uh, believe in what you believe in okay uh, and that includes your romantic partner as well you want your romantic partner to support you okay let's talk about your love life ace of cups ace of wands and five of swords I feel like finding a romantic partner is going to be a lot more easier for you because of the clarity that you have about your own future. Okay? You are absolutely in control of your own love life Virgo. Again I will repeat because of the fact that you have so much of clarity regarding your future, you absolutely know what kind of person you want in your life as your romantic partner. Okay, so rejecting anyone or accepting anyone will be very much easy for you. Okay, and trust me, you're going to reject many people, many people. Because, and you also know how to find the right kind of person. You also have that something at the back of your mind. Like, I will know the moment I meet my person, I will know that they are the person for me. Ace of Cups and Ace of Wands, new beginnings. New beginnings are definitely assured over here in this reading. New beginnings in your love life. I feel like you are going to meet someone special very soon. You will have a new beginning with someone very soon. Okay. And again, this person is entering in your life soon because of the clarity that you have. What kind of a person I want in my life. Okay. Who will aligned with, who will be aligned with my future goals and ambitions that I have that I have for myself okay and universe is like you're literally letting the universe know like this is the kind of person I want in my life okay and universe is presenting back-to-back -back opportunities to you like okay I got I got precisely what kind of a person you want now let me send you the people towards you 
okay so universe will keep on sending back to back opportunities i see that you will be going out on dates in the month of april in last 15 days of april i also see you are going to find someone very soon someone significant very soon because you are absolutely in control of whatever is going on in your in your life or whatever is going on in your love life Let's talk about the romantic messages. Sexual union, honor the place in one another. You are one eternal soul for there will find true bliss. So sexual union with someone is about to happen. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. Okay, so don't try to uh, control the other person. Yes, be control be in control of your own life but because you want to control your life your life decisions don't try to control other people okay uh, if you could do anything what would it be the answer dwells in your heart not in your mind for the heart is the gateway to the soul so if you are if your mind is stuck with something you should ask that question to yourself if you could do anything what you would do okay Passion, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at the uh, at present and enjoy it. So I feel like you will get into a sexual encounter with someone very soon. Virgo, transformation, your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all the things. It, the cards are very much indicative of you meeting someone, you enjoying passionate moments with someone and that connection getting transformed. It is becoming more, it will become more and more deeper. Okay. So I hope this resonates and hit like, share and subscribe, comment down below. The link for the extended is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. All right, take care and bye-bye.